Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matrega, and today we are talking deltoid growth. Now, the deltoid is the muscle that sits on top of the shoulder and runs downward like so, right? Not the bicep, not the tricep, but that nice cap on top of the humerus or the arm bone, right? And it has three main regions, the anterior or front deltoid, the medial or as it's often called lateral deltoid, and the rear or posterior deltoid. Now to really make that deltoid pop, specifically with how you program your training, you want to give some extra love to that rear posterior deltoid. It adds a little bit of dimension, it makes that shoulder overall appear more round, and can contribute to a nice aesthetic physique. So I want to dive into a great exercise for you to really hit that rear deltoid hard that you might have never seen before and is a little bit different than the typical rear delt machine fly that most people default to. So let's get into it. To hit the front delt, we commonly do exercises like a standing front raise with dumbbells or cables. We actually hit the front delt a ton when we do things like pressing, especially when we're flat on a bench or on an incline, because the angle of that bar is right in alignment with the front delt. Now, the medial head very commonly trained with the lateral raise, right? Again, dumbbells and cables usually, and the muscle shortens from here to here, and it really peaks at the top. Now, the key to really getting a muscle to grow, we need to contract it and overload it in that contracted position. And with the rear delt or the posterior delt, people often default to the fly or the posterior machine fly or even a bent over dumbbell fly. And where that exercise really does well is with building up a sensation in the back of that shoulder, but it doesn't necessarily hit the rear deltoid as hard and it doesn't necessarily shorten it because those fibers typically shorten when the humerus or the arm bone comes back a little bit. And you can actually feel it. If you just put your hand here and shoot it back, you're not gonna feel the same shortening as if you put your arm like this and actually pull the arm back. And so a lot of the guys in the gym or girls in the gym with the best rear deltoid development actually hit their delts, posterior delts, accidentally with how they're rowing. So while there is some validity, validity to hitting that posterior fly like so, you're probably better off doing that and something like the row I'm gonna show you today here. So let me show you how to set up for it. It's pretty simple. Typically when we would row, we'll row with the humerus or the arm bone back like this. But to hit those rear deltoid, uh, hit the rear delts, you just wanna get into that same position. I like to support the chest, which allows me to better control my scapula or my shoulder blades. And I just row back like so, trying to cue that posterior deltoid or that rear deltoid. Driving the elbows back, shortening that muscle, again, feeling for the back of the shoulder. Now, it's a pretty pronounced sensation. You should feel it right away, specifically back in here. I like to do between eight to 12 reps with a very modest weight under a very controlled tempo so I can really be sure that I'm hitting those rear deltoids. So when it comes to overall shoulder development, remember that anterior portion of the deltoid gets hit really well with things like presses, some front raises as well, but those honestly for most people aren't even needed. That medial deltoid, people really like to do lateral raises. I've never seen a shortage of those in the gym, but a lot of trainees neglect that rear deltoid. So now that you have this exercise, that's for the extension of the shoulder, bringing the arm behind the body, which will really hit the rear deltoid. You can do some of this abduction or moving the arms away like on that rear delt machine as well. So using the movement we talked about today and that rear deltoid fly machine, you should be more than capable of hitting that rear deltoid pretty well. I would do both of those movements one to two times per week, 
on your upper body training days or even your pulling or back days if that's how you have your routine set up because that will allow you to really give the rear deltoid the love that it needs to keep pace with the rest of the shoulder and develop a balanced, well-rounded delt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment below your favorite rear deltoid exercises or the exercises that you've had the best luck with to develop the shoulder. Make sure you like and have an awesome day.